occupy myself with uh, watching internet uh, movies on TV. Uh, have not been traveling for the past year overseas. So today, why not I just talk about my past uh, travels, all right? So for today, uh, I've uh, picked on the Cambodia, all right? You can see my T-shirt, which I uh, got it from uh, Cambodia. Uh, our first landing was in uh, Siem Reap and basically we landed there to have a walk at uh, Angkor Wat, the, uh, the ancient ruins, right? And my first impression in uh, Siem Reap was how, how dusty it was, all right? Uh, I felt lucky that I decided to wear uh, my sandals instead of shoes and my feet was well uh, coated with dust, all right? and the other thing is that uh, cars were also uh, uh, they had this uh, layer of dust on the cars and and over there you you don't uh, wash cars but you use the feather duster to dust off the dust from the car strange but true right so uh, after we uh, spent uh, maybe a day in the same rip we then took a bus uh, down to Phnom Penh right so it's a six hours uh, bus ride, quite uh, uneventful uh, ride. Just sleep, wake up, sleep, wake up for six hours. And there we were in Phnom Penh. So in Phnom Penh, uh, we uh, went to visit the uh, torture school, okay? Uh, Tho Sleng, okay? Uh, it's very interesting. Uh, it was basically a school converted into a torture chamber by the Khmer Rouge and you can still see blood dried blood of course on the, on the floors so uh, as we walk through the, uh, the the halls uh the exhibition halls we somehow uh get a feel of how the people were tortured okay in various uh apparatus and i like the uh, part where uh the person was uh, tied to the seat right and his legs and arms were just secured to the to the chair and there was a little screw stuff behind his uh, head. So, if you resist from uh, talking or giving answers to the uh, members of the Khmer Rouge when they question you, you get this uh, drill head drilled into your head slowly, slowly, slowly. And if you still resist, well, basically you're dead because the screw gets it goes through your head, right? So that's very interesting. And the other part is uh, where. Uh, the prisoners were laid on the floor uh, in uh, rows of uh, 10 or 20 and had the uh, facing to the ceiling and had the uh, legs uh, secured by a metal bar across okay so that basically they spend the whole day and night looking at the ceiling all right maybe they are released in maybe once or twice a day for uh, relaxation so called because otherwise it's back to sleeping on the floor facing the ceiling right that's that's very interesting and then we also went to the uh, longan orchard where uh, it was converted into a killing field okay have you heard of killing fields well uh, it's basically a longan field and you had the prisoners uh, kneeling beside a uh, deep holes dug out from the uh, longan field and with a whack to the head where you get unconscious and then just right after that they will have the uh, head decapacitated okay means cut off all right if you go there now you can see a monument okay a multi multi-story monument where they still uh, keep the skulls there just to remind you of the uh, life that was before all right so uh, the other thing about uh, Cambodia besides the uh, great uh, cheap beer one us dollars a beer Angkor beer all right uh they had this game okay a game of uh, uh rubber sheets and uh, feather chicken feather all right and when they kick this uh this 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 uh game into the air uh simply get this sound because there's a uh, metal sheets attached to it uh very interesting because uh, i'm from malacca and we had similar game okay where the base was uh, made of uh, uh, cut up uh, rubber uh, tire and 
similar to this game, we had also a uh, chicken feathers, which we call a chapte in Malacca. Yeah, interesting. So when you travel, we got to see things and appreciate stuff. And then, uh, but basically, uh, Cambodia was uh, maybe uh, Malaysia, uh, maybe uh, backwards by 30 years, maybe. And that's how I feel. Uh, but in terms of technology, I think they are much advanced from us. Okay, it's very uh, shameful, but it's true. Their internet speed is much faster than over here, but uh, that's how it is. So that's how the world progresses, and uh, we need to catch up, right? So uh, that's my uh, sharing on Cambodia tonight. So let's see what uh, other countries I will uh, share with you in the next uh, session. All right, so in the meantime, take care, good night, stay safe, stay away from COVID-19, all right? Good night.